Uh, this is in context to David, yeah? Yep. Okay, good. So this is a story which the Quran has copied and got wrong, right? No, no, we don't have the uh, David and adultery story in the Quran. Yeah. Not as far as I know. Because all, all the prophets in the Quran are few. Exactly. Okay, but, now, uh, now according to your Bible, exactly. did, David, so did David commit adultery? Yes. Okay. Do prophets commit sins like adultery? A major sin. Well, David did. David is a, a prophet, right? Yeah. And adultery is a major sin. Yes. What is the what is the punishment for sin according to the Old Testament? Stone. 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 Adultery. Stone. 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 And that's where this whole story you know, comes in that God forgave it. You yeah. what? hold on. Yeah. According to your yeah. according to the Old Testament, yeah. what is the capital punishment for this adultery? Yeah. People were people were stoned for, for sin. Was David a stone? No. Why did why did God why did wait a minute why could not God forgive the others? Who commit adultery? Why only David? Oh, what makes you think he doesn't forgive others? Show me example of somebody else who got uh, forgiven for adultery in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament. Yes. Yep. I know you bring up the New Testament okay, when it feels like, <laughs> but when it feels like you you hide away your Old Testament. Okay. You know what was the punishment given to David? Let's see if you remember that. His son died. So his son was punished for his crime, for his sin. No. How how nice of your God. Where is the justice? Where is the love um, for, for children? Where is the love for children? Where, Where is the mercy of God for the children who were struck down by God for the crime of his father? There's another there's another um, son of a king who died, and I I can't remember which one it was. Now I asked about God, adultery. God took, was anyone forgiven for adultery in the Old Testament other than David? I can't think of someone off the top. Okay, of my so head. there isn't one. No, no. But do you think do you think it is just for God to punish David's son for his sin? But he didn't. Well, it was a punishment on David. No. But what makes no, you, you said his son died. You said his son died, and that was the punishment. Well, was that was that the punishment from God? Well, now you're arguing with God. No, I'm, I'm well, asking well, you. Well, you, you. I'm asking you. you. God did it. Uh, but okay. Listen. So wait, wait, wait. Okay. So if God does something in the Quran, then you wouldn't have a problem because God did it, right? No. If yeah. God does something in the Quran, yeah. for example, God saved yeah. Jesus from crucifixion, you shouldn't complain then. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. because exactly. David's son died. Let's see. Let's see if you can stand up to your own standard. Yeah. Yeah. The Quran say that? Of course the Quran says that. 4157. Chapter 4, 157. No, no, no. I give you an example to show your double standards. Because what you're doing here is that even when we show you from the Old Testament, you somehow don't agree with even your own Bible. So once again, was it justice in the case of the son of David who was, who was actually, you know, punished? for the crime of David. How do you know God wasn't protecting that son from so much worse? By killing him? Because, no, that, I can get... So you protect there. someone by killing them. How how nice, isn't it? Yeah. How convenient. Took the, child, the child, how many ch children died at birth? Is, is, that a, is that a punishment when children died? No, but you said that was, he was punished by killing his ch child. That, that were your words, not mine. So you're going against your own words now and against the Bible. I'm, I'm going to read what the Bible says. Okay, go on. None of them, they commit... But, yeah. Ma the, the major Quran, things like the way you your, your Bible does. The, the, the Quran say the prophets. Of Can you answer the question? What was the punishment of David's? Son? Oh, sorry. Why was David's son punished for his sin? And how is that? For, how is that justice? So Nathan, uh, and this is after Nathan's heard the story, right? Well, what channel? Sorry, David. No, no, okay. David's, David's heard the story from Nathan. No. So then, then David said to Nathan, "I have sinned against the Lord." Which chapter is that? Sorry. So this is this is two Samuel twelve. Okay. Two Samuel. So 12. this is David says, "I've sinned against the Lord." Nathan replied, "The Lord has taken away your sin. You are not going to die." But because by doing this, you have made the enemies of the Lord show utter contempt, the son born to you will die. There you go. Okay. So what do you learn from this story? Number one, he acknowledges that he committed adultery, committed sin, yeah. and God forgives him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Without any sacrifices. Yeah. Okay, number one. Well, hang on. When you say without any sacrifice. Well, David didn't have to come in and uh, had to pay for any cut, cut an animal up or anything like that. Sacrifice an animal, did he? Unless you're going to argue that his son was. No, well, he went, he went up to the temple and worshipped. So he would have done. Yeah, worship. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. You don't say he would have. He did it in that story. He was forgiven. That's what Nathan tells him, isn't it? Yeah. That your sin has been forgiven. Yeah. Okay? So that's number one. He commits a major crime, doesn't get stoned for it, as, as according to the, um, the law of the uh, Muslim law yes and he doesn't have to sacrifice any animals either because he it was declared to him that your sins have been forgiven number two 
Who was punished for his sin? Well, he was punished. No, no. Who was punished for his sin? When I say punished, I mean literally punished. Not just like weeping and being hurt because his child died. Of course, that's kind of a punishment you can say. But I'm talking about the literal punishment of death was and given to his child. If any of you had a child die? Fortunately not. But we know, we know what it... Would it be God's punishment if a child died? Well, I, I wouldn't know unless God tells me specifically. Like he does here. So that's the point. The point here is... A, the point is that? He doesn't say it's punishment. Read again from Nathan. Does he say I'm punishing the child? Read from Nathan. Okay. Well, let's go back. Now let's go back. What what brought David to the point of punishment? To the point of forgiveness? Uh, repentance and forgiveness. What made? No, no. You you went straight to the end without realizing why was this child killed? Yeah. But hang on, the child killed. God took the child's life. Why? Because of David's sin. Thank you. I rest my case. Why are you arguing against because that then? I don't understand. Is, Just a minute ago, when I asked you, you're arguing against it. You're going run and run. Yeah, yeah, you are. Okay, so, 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 no, so, no, so no. forgiveness comes without shedding of blood for David. But no, the sin, whoa, but the whoa, sin, whoa, 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 whoa. but the sin is, what, but the how sin, do you, how do you conclude <laughs> the sin has been punished course, by punishing punished. the child. The God, he was David punished. would have offered the sacrifice. No. Would have? No, he wouldn't. No. He wouldn't. He was. You know what he did? What he, no, no. What did he, what, what did David do instead of uh, sacrificing some animal? He fasted. Yeah. So fasting is a method of seeking forgiveness. Yeah. You know, this is very Islamic, by the way. <laughs> Don't tell me the Muslims copied that as well. <laughs> so you agree? It wasn't just it wasn't just blood sacrifice that could take your sins away. No, but he thought. See, no, he won't agree even with his Bible. This guy, I don't know what's wrong with him. Well, okay. Allah tells us in the Quran anyway. David. No, no, he just what? says over there what? that David. You know, when David was asked, "Why are you not fasting now?" Does when you when you got the news of your child dying, he Quran said, "When when he was alive, yes, I was hoping mercy from God. What does mercy mean? Forgiveness."